considering the punishment the NFL handed down, did Rodgers get a pass? Yeah, he got a pass. But when you look at the entire situation, this is the MO of the NFL. They know Aaron Rodgers playing football is more beneficial to the NFL than having this drag on and go forward. And then, too, when you see Alan Lazar find the same thing, the same acts, I'm assuming, was, was the, the result of this fine that the NFL levied against both players, $300,000 uh, for the Packers. We all know that that's a drop in the bucket as well. But when you look at this particular situation, and I know we want to we want to like go forward with Aaron Rodgers because he absolutely misled and lied about his status. And that's the part that people want him to, to be held accountable for and and obviously may want more of a of a, a consequence because of that particular situation. And I can understand that I can understand why people would feel that way. But ultimately, when we look at the NFL and we look at how they levy these fines. One, Aaron Rodgers is more beneficial to the league playing football, so the suspension was out of, out of, totally out of the question. And then when you think about the fine that was levied, that was just a fine based on what happened with the protocols that he did not follow, which I'm assuming Alan Lazard did the same thing. So, look, this is a slap on the wrist, but this, is my, this was my expectation. We got rules in place to protect quarterbacks. We make sure quarterbacks are highlighted in the NFL time and time again. We do it on this show. We can see a Tampa Bay Buccaneers defense be the reason that they win a Super Bowl, but we talk about Tom Brady and what he did in order for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers to win a Super Bowl. There's a lot of nuance to this discussion, but the bottom line is Aaron Rodgers is more beneficial to the NFL playing football. So a, so a $14,000 fine was, would suffice for them to say these are the violations that he, that he incurred. Well, first of all, he got a pass. There's no question about that. The NFL should be ashamed of itself. Aaron Rodgers mm -hmm. should be ashamed of himself. The Green Bay Packers should be ashamed of himself. And I'm about to break that down. And by the way, I'd like to remind everybody of this reality. If Aaron Rodgers had not been suspended, but he was fined a game check, for example, doesn't he still get to play the second he yeah. finished, you know, he, he overcomes the, uh, the, the, the co you know, COVID-19, mm -hmm. and we wish him nothing but the best because we certainly don't wish bad health upon Aaron Rodgers. Let's be very, very clear about that. We want him to be well. We want everybody to be well. Having said all of that, we have to understand something here. This is egregious on a number of levels. Number one, if you're the National Football League, okay, the man violated protocols because you knew he was not vaccinated, or the NFL, the Packers, the Packers should have been handed a heavy, heavy penalty. I think the Packers should have been uh, confiscated a draft pick, personally, because they knew that Aaron Rodgers' uh, definition of immunized didn't mean he took the Johnson & Johnson, the Pfizer, or the Moderna vaccine, which means, according to the NFL, he was not vaccinated. The NFL has rules in place. The teams are obligated to enforce those rules handed down by the National Football League. If the, N if the Packers violated those rules, they should have paid a hefty price because you don't want to set any kind of precedent that allows a team to bypass rules and regulations handed down by the National Football League because the National Football League has had a heightened level of sensitivity to any issues that question, that bring into question their authority and their dominion over yeah. the leagues. That's why you've yeah. seen so many things addressed. So the Packers got away scot-free. More importantly, when you see Matt LaFleur go up to the press conference, mm -hmm. when you see them have a nonchalant attitude towards the public and the media at large. It just reminds you of who they are and what they really, really think about anybody outside of their cocoon. And this is the latest evidence of that. And the NFL basically co-signing that by giving them a slap on the wrist also shows you what the NFL ultimately thinks about the public at large. Now, let me get to Aaron Rodgers. <sighs> we all know what a big fan of Aaron Rodgers I am. I believe as a talent, Aaron Rodgers is the greatest quarterback that I've ever seen. That's why I coined the phrase, he's a bad man. I admire him. I respect him. One of the greatest pleasures of my career was meeting him and talking to him a few years ago when I did. I am a huge, huge, huge Aaron Rodgers fan who has repeatedly over the years come to his defense when people have talked about arrogance, aloofness, nonchalance, you know, entitlement, and they've thrown a bevy of insults his way. I'm talking about former teammates. 
I'm talking about people who used to play within the Green Bay Packers organization, people who used to work in the Green Bay Packers organization, people that cover the league, people that are, are, have been on other teams. You've had a lot of shrapnel thrown in the direction of Aaron Rodgers throughout the years. And I have repeatedly come to his defense. There is no defending this. It is inexcusable. And his words, yet again on the Pat McAfee show yesterday, further incriminated him. Aaron Rodgers never apologized, ladies and gentlemen. He never apologized. He said, I know there's some people out there who think that I did, that I lied, that I was yeah. misleading, and I take responsibility for that. That's what he said. Really, how do you take responsibility? Show us the evidence. Where, where's the evidence that you took responsibility for it? The soliloquy that you gave a few days earlier on the Pat McAfee show that further embarrassed and incriminated you last Friday, even though you didn't quote-unquote double down on that with the level of fervor that you had Friday, you still in backtrack. He's Like he said, he's not backtracking from his own words. And I want to make sure that I make this point because I'm a registered independent, okay? And I'm very, very proud of that. I don't trust either side. OK, there's some things they write about. There's some things they're wrong about. And just like I watch liberals on TV, I watch conservatives on TV. Just like I listen to liberals on radio, I watch conservatives on radio. So I hear the scuttlebutt that's out there, Swagoo. And you've got people talking about, well, you know, I mean, Ruggs was driving a car 156 miles an hour and killed a woman. And mm. somebody else was drunk driving and somebody else committed domestic violence and all of this. other. <clears throat> Nobody is trying to say that Aaron Rodgers are those individuals or he did something like that. But that doesn't mean that you get to negate or ignore or Stephen refuse a. to compartmentalize a. what the Stephen hell a. he did. Let Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.